So, last time, we obviously got our boat. Well, we got the boat before that, but we started kind of going around the world searching uh, for stuff to do with the boat. We pretty much looked at all of these, like, random little islands around here. And for the most part, there really wasn't a lot I could see that I could do with a lot of these. Uh, this island kicked my butt with all the encounters, because the encounters are, like, really, really high level. And these three islands had, like, some buildings, but there wasn't really anything I could do with them. And then I went over here to Apogee Islands, which I was able to access the Aqua Rock. The Aqua Rock. Uh, we completed that dungeon, and um, I feel like there's still some other stuff we can do on the actual, like, town here. But uh, until then, um, we're going to have to maybe go away from that and look at other places. Uh, there's also this island. This is Azumo. And I found a dungeon here. I got in the dungeon, but was greeted by a giant serpent. Uh, a giant snake dragon type monster. Uh, that is pretty much unbeatable right now. But, I was looking at the uh, session from last time. And I actually discovered there was a part of the outside area I didn't really discover or look at much. Uh, so we're going to actually go back to Gaia Rock. We're not going to go on the inside, but we're going to go on the outside because I feel like there is something I missed. Like, I feel like my thought process for when it happened was I was like, okay, well, I can't beat this guy. I'm just going to leave. Or rather, when I was outside, I was like, oh, let me go inside, see how much I can do. And then I'll explore the outside when I'm done. And of course, because I didn't finish the area, I just left and didn't really check the outside. Which was kind of a poor decision I made, but... Again, it's a blind playthrough. I'm not supposed to know what to do. So it's all good. So... ah, <laughs> That's kind of cool that he actually, like interacts a little bit with what's going on. So anyway, how are you guys doing tonight? Hope you guys are having a pleasant evening. I had a pretty decent day. Did some commentary for the uh, Link to the Past Randomizer tournament. We're uh, about done with the tournament, finally. Um, we're down to... Well, we have... Three people of the semifinals figured out. There's one more quarterfinals match we have. And uh, once we get that done with, we'll be in the final four, basically. So we'll have, like, just a few more series to go. Which is pretty exciting. I've been doing a lot of work for that tournament. And honestly, it's been fun. It's been fun this time. I think it's because I had, like, a... Not really, like, that stressful as a quote-unquote job for the tournament this time. So I was able to just kind of enjoy it more, do commentary whenever I could, and just kind of have fun with it. Different battle music here. I think it's just different battle music on the boat. But I, I don't... Can't confirm that, obviously. I think that's what it is, though. Okay, so let's go back into Gaia's Rock. I didn't know Gaia Crusher 9 owned an entire rock. It's pretty cool. So there we go, go over here. Because here's the thing, I don't think I went up here last time. I think I just kind of like, eh, I don't need to be here, and then left. And then, yep, sure enough, this place continues. Oh god, there's a vine here, though. Oh, but I can climb it, though. Okay, well that's, that's neat. Can I, like, swing on the vine? I mean, I know this is not DK King of Swing, but... You never know. Okay, I can fall there. Before I fall, can I... I can do this. Hello, Mimic. Oh, no. <laughs> it seemed like it could have it could have been a mimic. It could have been a mimic, guys. 
Do not take RPG games lightly. They will throw mimic mimics at you if they feel like it. We okay. Not sure if this was entirely necessary, but Oh yeah, this was just where I came up. <laughs> Okay, so they can swing. Kinda need we can one-shot those enemies. gonna be a big brain play I'll have right here. Oh, I need to give you a different thing, don't I? I'm guessing Cyclone won't work. Okay, they are things I can interact with, so it's good to know. Ah, so what's Cyclone again? Is it water? Oh, you know what? No, no. Okay, I'm dumb. I, I, I shouldn't say that. I remember what it is. It's I can't have the uh, the, the trainer's whip on. Yeah, that's a. But I can't really move that either. So I need to find a way to move this. Unless I could have done it from that. Or, you know, this could also just not be the solution either. You have to be kind of, well, not Cyclone. As I should have realized, you have to be, like, kind of... There you go. Whee! Push. And, of course, immediately an encounter. So I meant to disable the uh, wind thing that's uh or actually no, that's not it. Never mind. Forget that thought. For some reason I thought that I had switched gin on people again, but I didn't need to. 
Okay, well, since we need this. Yeah. I don't like getting rid of reveal like that, but. I have a feeling we're gonna be doing this a lot. worried for a moment. I was like, wait, how do I get up here then? <laughs> that is kind of nice that they actually had that here to demonstrate that that's what you're supposed to do. They could have been mean and not had that at all. It looks weird just being on the screen like that, but... Hey, it saved me frustration, so... Got to give it some props. Let's see. Oh, those guys actually do a lot of damage. Maybe not that much, but still. I feel like we were in an area where they were doing less, that's kind of why I said that. That could just be the case, though, because maybe we went to, we went to an easier area first, and this is the quote-unquote later game area that they wanted us to go to afterwards. I grab it. Oh, wait, up here? I thought this is where I came from, though. It was. Right? Great, I'm confused now. Fireworms hate Sheepa so much. Is it so want me to do this? No. I'm not really sure what the game's expecting of me right here then. Cause yeah, I climbed up here. Oh, did I not go over here? I didn't go over here. Some... 
Mother Gaia. Uh, high Impact is the full party one. I think I may have discovered that last time, but... I don't think I called attention to it until now. Wow, Mother Gaia looks awesome. Shine Plasma? That just sounds cool. <laughs> just sounds like a cool thing. Shine Plasma! Now watch, I'm gonna fall again, aren't I? God. Wait. Okay, I made it. It's not as cool as thing. Yeah, but that's it's kind of an unfair comparison of. And I went back and watched some of the, like, clips that I made from Your Tales of Symphonia marathon week, or stream sessions. Good times. Yo, Casanova, thank you for the host, my man. Hope you're having a good day. How does it feel like just because no, like you know that's always been like kind of a thing where it's like you've always w mentioned like doing a let's play of it and you know probably still could I guess but you know just the fact that you have actually done like a playthrough on something whether it be Twitch or YouTube like you actually you broke the the trend of people starting Tales of Symphonia playthroughs and not finishing them. gotta feel pretty amazing. Probably the only way it'll happen, fair enough. Thank you for that blind command spec. Or not spec, cast. And hey Master Starman. You also started playing it for 10 minutes and didn't finish it? Well, play more of it. It's a good game. <laughs> You're sensing something. What are you sensing? <laughs> I mean, do I have anything that would be good for this? I don't know if I do. What if I just put the sham shear on it? Don't think it's the Sea God's tier. I have a... Apple. 
may as well, you may as well eat it, I guess. I'd love to do a four-player playthrough of people who already love the game. Would be I would be down for that spec, definitely. I've never had a chance to play like anything Tails multiplayer, and that just seems like that would be good fun. Not to bring this up again, but if you move to Indy... <laughs> Yeah, I went down there. That's how I got the thing put. So I need to go. I need to go back. I didn't explore all of the uh, other quote-unquote paths I could have taken. So there's probably more stuff. We have corn, and we do have corn in Indiana. That is that is true. Yo, hey DT, how you doing, man? Uh, no. And it did take me a little bit to see. Wrecked. Uh, no, I haven't done anything aside from this. I did. It did take a little longer to get started. So I was doing my ridiculously long intro. And talking about upcoming stuff. So we, we really just came here. But as I was saying, and this is something I actually talked to you about um, on Discord like in between sessions I felt like there was something here and sure enough I think I made the right call in coming here because there is more to do now yeah, you didn't you haven't missed that much if anything really I basically went up this mountain, found an altar where it's like, hey, put something here. So now I'm trying to find said something. Yeah, I did. That's when I first got here. So I've explored everything, which means... That means there's something I can get right now that I'm not aware of that I can get. Unless, again, this is what I thought earlier and I just can't do anything right now with this area. But I don't want to make that call just yet, because I feel like I, I've kind of jumped the gun a lot on different things in this playthrough so far. <laughs> here. thing up here.
I don't know how I was off that far. <laughs> Do not know. I am so ready for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tomorrow. It'll be a good time, smiley face. Thanks, Cass. I'm looking forward to it as well. Should be lots of fun. Good fun. Good, healthy fun. Okay. Why is it like this here? Like... something I'm missing here. Maybe they have to find like all these things? I can actually climb on them. No, I can't. Whoa, thanks for also sharing three emotes with everybody, Cass. a pretty cool thing for you to do. Unintentionally or not. Or intentionally or not. How am I doing? I'm doing alright. Had a pretty, pretty decent day. I guess at one point today I was kind of, like, not feeling too well. My stomach was acting up, but it was fine after a little bit of rest. It's actually really weird, because, <laughs> like... I didn't eat very much today, and after I got on my commentary, like around three, I made a quick salad because I knew we were gonna have like a big, like, seafood meal thing for dinner. So I just had a salad for lunch, but the salad actually, like, I don't know, it just didn't agree with my stomach for some reason. But then I had a bunch of like fried fish and stuff for dinner and that was fine. So it's weird how that works. The thing healthy for me is actually better. Yo, hey Sailor Jade, how you doing? You know, I didn't actually interact with any of these. Maybe that's what I need to do. Oh, I guess I guess I would have been able to if I did that already. Felix, check the altar. I'm sensing something. So according to DT, this was this this means I have to use an item. Oh, 
Oh, you're at a sleep study place. Interesting. Good luck. Whenever I've had sleep studies done, I uh, I hate having all those wires attached. Uh, I'm doing alright. I... My doctor was concerned that I had sleep apnea, but once the sleep study was done, apparently I was fine. My mom, aunt, and uncle have it, though. Any synergy in my head? Well, the thing is, um... I've already been, kind of been told that Whenever you get this item prompt, whenever I get this menu prompt, it's an item, not like anything else. So I don't know if that's it. Where's reveal? Oh. Can I talk to you now? Okay. So, okay, so I guess that's not the case then. Well, either way, I mean, <laughs> we got it, which is what's important, I guess. Yeah, the, the whole idea of sleep apnea is that, like, while you're sleeping, like, you stop breathing. And that's, like, usually how, like, really loud snoring happens. Because the snorer is, like, you know, your body trying to, like, get that oxygen. That's as far as my understanding of it. Yeah, it's uh it's a scary it's a scary thought. It's a very scary thought. Well, that's really on the cats, then. The cats should have told you from the get-go. Cats, do I snore? <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, too busy meowing for food, for attention. Typical cat things. from that dumb Sonic movie trailer choke to just that cat's movie. <laughs> uh, meow. That was the first Sonic trailer, right? Or was that the better one? Okay. 
Okay. That's what I thought. The old design that everyone rightfully hated. <laughs> Happy to know this part is fixed a little second issue is holding back from coming to result or Aww. Sorry to hear that, man. I still remember when I started... When I started rando racing, which... I, mean, I guess I, I, I still do, but, like, I don't really do like any weeklies or anything like that anymore. I remember you and I were always like really really close finishers like all the time. It was always really cool. Like I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything up here in this direction. No, I don't think so. Valentine's Day is just six days away. Indeed it is. <laughs> you, need to, you need to beat me in a bracket stage at some point. Well, I've never made a bracket, so as long as you make one, I think that would kind of count as beating me. Guessing, I'm guessing that doll is what I need for the uh, inside of the place. We gotta put the thing that we just got in there. Doors! We found doors! Are you staying warm? I'm trying to. I actually went out and played Pokemon Go today. It wasn't too bad. It was a little cold, but it wasn't, like, freezing. It was just winter. Wow, dead end. Thanks, game. <laughs> Don't you love when video games just throw dead ends at you when you have two paths to choose from and you just can't know which is the right way? Uh, what area do I live? I live in Indiana in the United States. Uh, 
Yeah, stubborn dogs are the worst. My parents' dog is really stubborn. <laughs> Pip up joined Team Rocket. <laughs> yeah. In actuality, it was just there was a Piplup behind the Team Rocket grunt and it just loaded that encounter instead of the grunt encounter. But still, it was funny. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> Piplup? <laughs> what are you doing there? Ooh, close to your home state, Ohio. Send me some cold when you can. Uh, I'll, I'll try if you really want it. dead end again. That won't work. This will work. I have no words. <laughs> Yeah, big same, Odin, big same. <laughs> See, if I would have just gone the other way, like... <laughs> Instead of going this way first, I would have gotten that and... I guess I wouldn't have gotten the ex extra experience, which is nice. Okay. Look how the, the grass is back. Like, it's already back after... Oh my god, look at those trees! <clears throat> those trees are such units. Hey Katakuri, how you doing? Okay, we got more. Damn, that golem, that golem just punched Shiba in the face. I'm doing all right. Death card? I feel like that's a status move though, which those haven't really been that helpful. Wait a minute, this is gonna be one of those Thank you. 
No? I spoke too soon! <laughs> oh god. Oh well. There we go, that's what we need. I already did that. I how that one didn't get knocked away. Let me just make sure, yeah. And see, when I was going through the, like, the serpent room last time, like, I noticed those orbs on the back, and I thought they would have something to do with it. I just wasn't sure, like, how to get to them. Feb 29th. I mean, I might. What day is that? Like a Saturday stream or something? Hmm. How oh, funny. Oh, I can fall down there. Saturday? Okay. I guess I could have done the math on that and figured that out, but meh. I'm not Eric. I'll just take care of these guys really quick with all the powerful magic. Shine Plasma. Yeah, let's look at that. Look pretty cool. I read that as commoner. <laughs> He's a commoner. <laughs> you get all you got all these cool sounding classes, and he got commoner. <laughs> played Fire Emblem Three Houses, is it any good? I have played Three Houses and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it was a really fun game. I really enjoyed all of the, the implementations they used for it and I just had a lot of fun with it. Probably not my favorite Fire Emblem game, but I, I really had fun with it. Oh, okay. So that's all of them. I feel like there was something over here, though. No, there wouldn't have been. Wait, does this mean that I've explored the whole place? Yeah, because I jumped down, so... Buster had it coming after what he did to me in frickin' uh, Dicey Dungeons. Can I play it without having played any other Fire Emblem games? Um... Pro probably, it probably doesn't matter that much, honestly. They, they, they actually give you pretty 
good indication on how to do everything. Like, there's no plot continuation, obviously, because it's... a different world and different setup and everything. So yeah, I'd say you could play it without. Yeah, no problem. Hope you enjoy it if you do end up uh, grabbing it. Oh boy, this riveting gameplay again. It's actually kind of lame when you think about it. If you go the other way, you won't be able to do anything. <laughs> Okay, we're going back. Going back to the serpent. Here's the hoping we don't die. Kind of like that one area in Mario RPG, the Ro oh Roseway. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about, and I can see it. Oh wait, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. Just move again. What if I'm using that when I have it on my shortcut menus? I think, my, I think my problem with that is that there's only two shortcuts. <laughs> and I feel like some of them, like... There's some that just work better for shortcut, shortcuts. Like, I feel like Mind Read should just be its own button somehow. I don't know. No, don't don't worry about Cass. I think Cass is just posting that as a general reminder. I don't think he's calling you out or anything. I generally ask people to try to post that whenever they can. Oh, no problem, DT. You got you got to take care of the kitty. Hope Max is uh, doing a little better, though. What's our progress here? Well, we've shined light onto the four orbs, so... I think that means we're good. Uh, Slim, are you looking forward to Animal Crossing? Yes, I am. I'm going to be playing the hell out of Animal Crossing. More than likely. Maybe, I don't know. It's 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 hard to say, Cake Man. Like I understand it being its own power by itself. It's just you know, when you go to certain areas, you have to almost know in advance which powers you'll need. And generally you only need like two of them. Like this one we really only needed push and or move and uh whirlwind really. Last, the serpent has finally had its fill. This is the chance I'd hoped for. 
I will defeat you before the next full moon and rescue Kushinata myself. Alright, you so-called guardian, let's see what you've got. That's weird, it didn't even react. Defeating the Serpent Dragon's Bane isn't weakening it enough for me to beat it. Guess that means it's up to us! Serpents. I should do this, no. <laughs> Part of me feels like that would not work. <laughs> Just a hunch. Uh, oh, I meant to put... Uh, I meant to put the other thing back on. Well, this way I can at least put a high impact on everybody. Well, he recovers, but it's not that much, so I feel like we're doing more damage than what he's dishing, which is important. Let's see, restore. Calm a foe with soothing scents. <laughs> Let's see if maybe I can get a... Well, I actually did a lot of damage, considering. Quake Sphere. Briar. Consider doing some healing though in a bit. Take a chance. Okay. I'm gonna use one last one and kind of hope that we can keep these alive so she can use her thing next time. Ok, 
Okay, here we go. Thor, baby! Did a lot of damage. Um, any news about the emo? I guess I did talk about that before the stream started. Um, new emo is obviously still trying to be uh, um, uploaded, whatever. Still hasn't, unfortunately, but uh, just gonna have to play the waiting game on that. As much as I hate doing that, but that's just the way it is. Um, I did actually um, resubmit it because um, I wanted to make a change to it. Which might make it take a little longer now, but. I'd rather it be... I'd rather be happy with it. Okay, so we're back to normal attack power again. Um... Wow, two of my characters are about to die. Um... have the thing again. That's a little annoying. Could try to block your synergy in the meantime. Had no effect. Healing. Oh no, and two of them are. Okay. normal attack. I don't think any of my characters will die this turn. I need to be a little more aggressive, especially if he's going to be healing. Maybe 
I think I'm gonna do the same. Because I didn't really lose that much, all things considered. I'll just attack normally with you. There we go! 27 mage. It looks like the dragon is in bad shape, but it doesn't seem like it's close to dying. Even though the serpent's been defeated, I can't rest. Be still, serpent, and I will grant you peace. And with this, Kushinata's life has been spared. You have my sincerest thanks. Where are you going? To Kushinata, of course. <laughs> How convenient! Felix searches the slate. There is an inscription. Wielder of Earth's might, lay your hands upon the stone. I shall grant thee the power to melt into the earth, the power of sand. Wielder of Earth's Might, that be you, Felix. Touch it. Go on, don't worry. Yay, we learned sand. Can I do that here? Cause, I mean, this is sand. kind of silly. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just use heals here. I saw that message before it got deleted. Now I'm paranoid, of course, but... but... Yeah, please do not make suggestions if you don't mind. This is a blind playthrough after all. Thankfully, you can, like, very easily leave the maze, I guess, so it's not really wasting a whole lot of time by doing this. Like, I was thinking that there was something to do with that water because of the way it was, but... Do not do that, please.
looks like a pretty good weapon. Holy crap it is! That's... That's a lot of attack power of improvement there. <laughs> Let me look at this for a second. So that's four. That's a 24 increase, and this is a. That's a 39 increase. I'm feeling like Felix is gonna get this. say does look like a pretty damn freaking sweet sword though I didn't see any like gins here sure I searched the whole place though so there's something that might be at the I'm not dying I'm just so tired I'm going to lie down for a bit <laughs> if you're going to a Zumo tell my sister that I'm still alive okay you're going to tell Kushinata that you defeated the serpent aren't you Man. please you were the ones defeated so you should be honest and accept credit Those screams from Mount Makage, they must have come from the serpents. That means Susa must have saved Kushinada. Sure! <laughs> we'll go with that. <laughs> told me to accept all the credit, but now he's, like, not even going to. Oh, they're dancing. We may never know what was responsible for waking the serpent from its slumber. It was Bowser. Bowser did it. Nah, Bowser wouldn't do that. Sue says, put the serpent back to rest, but not everyone seems happy. Who's not happy? Where can we punch them? <laughs> Warriors appeared from within Mount Makage? Yes, after the serpent's roar, these warriors appeared. So it wasn't Suso who defeated the serpent, but those those heroes. It might have been. Lady Kushinata, please forgive me. 
I don't care who defeated the serpent. I'm more worried about what happened to Sousa. So Sousa never came down from Mount Makage. He returned to the village after the heroes appeared, when he knew the serpent was defeated. Oh, Sousa. Who are you? This is my home, and I am having a private conversation. Leave at once. What is it? There can be no doubt these are the heroes who appeared on Mount Makage. Are you the ones who defeated the serpent? So it was you. My apologies, you are welcome here. Who are you? I'm Creighton, this is Felix. Behind him is Piers. I'm Jenna, and this is Shiva. We're on a quest. Our travels across the Great Eastern Sea brought us here. You were seen coming down from Mount Makage. What brought you to such a dangerous place? To complete our quest, we need many types of synergy. Synergy? What is synergy? Oh my god, this conversation again. Synergy is many things. The power to move things with one's mind, to heal, to create. All with one's mind? Tell me, is it something like this? Is that the power you're talking about? That power, Lady Azume? It's not mine alone. Kushinata and Susa possess it as well. This is the power we possess. I assume you have something like it yourselves? Yes. So you call what we do synergy, and you can do it too? If you already have synergy, why do you need more of this power? Later, Cass. Their powers are different from our own. There seems to be many forms of synergy. Sousa! Sousa. So you lived after all, Sousa. Yes, I've survived, and I've made it home to you both. Both? <laughs> Thanks to them, actually. Felix, our gratitude to you and your friends grows deeper each passing moment. Sousa, you spoke of different types of power. Tell me, what do you mean? I can only describe what I saw my... Oh, si okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> Uh, I can only describe what I saw my sister. Ask Felix here about it. Ah oh, yes, Synergy. I have dedicated most of my life to its study. The power of Synergy comes from the four basic forces of Earth. Fire, wind, and water. These energies, the foundations of alchemy, are called elementals. You don't know alchemy, the four elements. Why, they're the very building blocks of all matter on where? All of the... <clears throat> All existing matter comes from alchemy, and is this synergy? Yes, that's right. Everything you see around you is some combination of these elements. Does this mean that there are as many types of synergy as there are types of elements? That's right, Kushinata. You're a smart lass. Mount Makage was a place of great earth powers. I'd imagine your powers are earth-based. That's right, but how did you know this? Kraden, Mount Makage is Gaia Rock, isn't it? Gaia Rock? Mount Makage is the sacred mound of our people. Yes, but there are many mountains like your Mount Makage all across the Eastern Sea. Mount Makage is a source of earth, power, and therefore it must be Gaia Rock. You have seen other mountains like our Mount Makage? Yes, in fact it seems that each of these rocks contains a different elemental power. And now you are requesting to gather those power of these elements, yes? And you only defeated the Great Serpent of Mikage to accomplish this goal. Well, I mean, we wanted to help you out. You took pity on Kushinata? You are very kind to help Sousa, Felix. You are not implying that we defeated the Serpent, are you? It's true that we did fight the creature. But without Sousa's power, the battle might have not have ended so happily. What? What are you... Sousa had given the be... be beast a lot of dragon's pain in order to weaken it. We could never have beaten the beast if it had not been in a weakened state. We were victorious only because Susa risked everything to weaken the dragon. 
Souza, perhaps after all, you are... No, I didn't. Don't forget, Souza dealt the finishing blow, didn't he? Yes, he did. Finishing blow? All I did was stab it with the cloud brand. I disagree. You weakened the serpent. You dealt the final blow. I'd say you were essential. So, Lady Azume, wouldn't you say that Souza deserves the reward for this feat? Even Felix agreed. Nah! <laughs> Are you asking for a reward? <laughs> That's just plain greedy. <laughs> he couldn't possibly take any sort of reward. The really new synergy will be a reward enough. <laughs> As you can see. <laughs> now it's about time for us to leave Azumo Village. Yes, indeed. We're on our way to Lemuria. You're leaving so soon? We are in a great hurry. Then you must return to Azumo someday. I'm sure we'll be back once our mission is completed. Excellent. I shall accept that as your oath. Oath? Oh, by promising a return, we'll be ensuring that our own quest will end successfully. I understand. We must vow to return, everyone. We'll be waiting. Okay. I'm sure you know the villagers believe I beat the serpent. Don't let me take all the blood. Well, too bad. If you have time, won't you enjoy a little of our celebratory festival? What? What's she asking for? Do I have something to give her? You want a mushroom? <laughs> oh, you know what? It'll say use if I can use it. Maybe... I look through all of them. I'm trying to think of what would be the thing. I'm assuming it's going to be nothing equipped. Okay, nope. Probably not the mithril bag. You want a rusty mace? No. Tear stone? No. Cloud brand? Oh, okay. Ah, could it be? Is this the dancing doll of Mount Makage? Yes. You found this at the peak of Mount Makage? Again, you have done more for me than I can properly reward you for doing. I think I may have something that, you, that might please you. Oh! Hello! This is my pet. It's very dear to me. Take it. <laughs> I am unsure how it works, but this fellow seems to magnify our power. Though it saddens me to part with it, it would have you take him as he might help you. Felix and his friends have agreed to care for you from now on. Please accept this gift. We did it! We got a new friend! Cole! With this dancing doll, I can explore Mount Makage on my own. Take care, Felix. Someday, Susa and I will have a son, and we will name him Takeru. Aww. That's cute. When he goes to sleep at night, I will tell him the story of your great deeds and your quest. That's adorable. Felix, wait. It troubled me to let you leave like this. I owe you much for your help, but I didn't have any way to thank you. And then I thought of something. I'm going to punch you in the mouth. <laughs> You're a warrior, and warriors need weapons, wouldn't you agree? Yes. This token isn't something I possess. It's a legend, one that might be of use to you. Long ago, the great serpent of Makage would sleep with its body crossing the river. Where its tail fell, the hit cloud brand lay hidden. That is the legend, anyway. The serpent was once the sword's protector, but it lost the sword many, lost the sword many ages past. Anyway, maybe you want to go check out the dra
I'm conflicted. <laughs> I'm very conflicted on this. One, I'm glad it tells you where it is. Because I feel like that would be such an easy thing to miss. So it's nice that it tells you. Two, just kind of shows I didn't need the spoiler. <laughs> uh, I left something there for you, just a way of saying thank you. But at the same time, like, it's like, I guess it's good that I didn't have to double dip the place, but... Still, it's... Again, very conflicted with that. Well, I've said what I came to say. I'm going back to Kushinata. Hope you are successful in your quest. Could have walked a little faster, but... Eh, to each their own. Okay, I actually... I wonder if maybe sand will help me get um, that thing that's in here. Probably. And I, I stayed the night, right? Nah, pretty much. Yeah, this is definitely it. <laughs> this is definitely how you get through here. Because I'm guessing you go under here to get here. Yeah. Okay. You know what? kind of like that. See, they, they made it seem like it was going to be, like, you go underground and have, like, underground areas to explore. Which I would have not liked that if that was the case. So I'm kind of glad it's... That's why I tried to move water. I'm kind of glad it's just, like, you can move under things. Because that'll actually, I think, help a lot in certain places. So it's pretty good. Wow, we actually have a mini dungeon here. We have a bit of a mini dungeon. Sand is pretty cool. I know you meant the ability, but like, just... I'm just picturing you saying that out of context, just like going, Hey guys, sand is really cool. <laughs> Okay, so we have four of each type now, which is kind of neat. All hooked up now. Oh, best of luck, Jade. I honestly never really liked doing the sleep studies whenever I had to do them done, get them done. It's Again, just so many freaking wires attached to you. And like, I'm someone... What the hell was that? I, I, I mean, I'm guessing that was the effect of the sword I just got, still. can use retreat to get away from all the monsters and blah 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 but I don't think it's that bad right now and again it, it, it's experience
Look at all the sand. See if I learned anything else, but it doesn't look like it. Mimic. The Holy Grail. Oh, that's the Phantasmail mail. I found the Holy Grail. <laughs> Wait, is that the way? Yeah, this is this way. Felix, King of the Brits. <laughs> All Indiana Slim up in here. I mean, isn't it always Old Indiana Slim up in everywhere? Oh, gra grabbing the Holy Grail like a champ. That's me, apparently. I just imagine, like, Piers just drinking all of the water. <laughs> just drinks all the water. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, dang, I guess you actually... Yeah, I guess so. Two years and a half sub turtle power. Yo, Flame Chocobo, thank you for the <clears throat> 30 month resub. That's a lot of months and a lot of resubbing. Really appreciate it, man. Okay. Felix examined the stone tablet. 
Felix can now summon <laughs> Ulysses S. Grant <laughs> to summon Ulysses to Mercury and to Mars. Stand by Jenner Needed. <laughs> With this, we can summon a president of the United States, Ulysses S. Grant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we should probably get off that subject immediately. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Definitely what not what I was expecting to get as a summon, though. Fun fact, I made this in year 2020, which was that level called Neon Knight Riders from Turtle in Time. I see. Oh, joke. Oh, actually, uh, DT, I had a, I had a question, actually. Um... I don't know, maybe you watch this back. But, um, is there a way I can get back to, like, the ship? Like, like, not just, like, the, on the, but, like, the inside of the ship? Because there was that one room on the ship that had, like, water that you could drown? Or will that be something I can get later? Okay, fair enough. Thank you. There'll be a time. That's good enough for me. Well, have a nice trip. I mean, I kind of figured you'd have to go back there, because why would else would they put a power-up or a chest there that you just couldn't get? But again, it was hard to, it's hard to tell, because usually you have a way to get back on sections like those. So I just was, I was not sure. Okay, let's sell, let's sell some stuff. Yeah, so I just want to make sure I wasn't missing, like, a button that would take me back there. I don't want to sell the mace yet. I can't wait to, like, get to the place where I can start forging stuff, because that, that would be nice. Oh, I need to actually wear that. Two can wear it. I guess Felix, since he's the one kind of lacking defense compared to Piers right now. Piers just wasn't thirsty yet. <laughs> Doesn't stop him now from. Oh, that's a synergy armor, though. 
Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm fine with that. Synergy Armor has been great, but... I guess the way I see it now is like... Um... The way I see it now is words are apparently really hard for me at the moment. But, um... They're still hard for me. I can't think of what I'm trying to say. Oh, I completely lost it. <laughs> I completely lost it now. No idea what I was going at there. How did the town here of Serpents defeat so quickly through the Serpent's mighty... <laughs> That's pretty good, Kamoro. <laughs> Wait, what... Okay. I guess I found something! really all it was for. Yeah, I guess that's all that was for. <laughs> so if Gaia's rock is rock rock, what do you call a bird there? Rock growth. <laughs> I didn't see what DT was going for. Oh, a rock. Uh, you know, I should have. <laughs> That's also kind of clever. Man, that battle theme actually gets pretty freaking cool. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, hold on. Let me look at the map again. So, I have sand. I don't think it wants us to return here yet. Because, again, those encounters were really strong. Okay, hold on. Let me look at this. I can delete something. I can delete Gaia's Rock and Zumo from my list. So, looking at the islands we have... Here, Bird Wants Bling is what I have listed on here. Here I have Red Rock Hint for Fog of Time, and then there's a fenced in area. Maybe that's where sand is needed, I don't know. I want to go there. And Turtle Wants a Friend. There's also a cave surrounded by rocks. So do I go down here again and check that out really quick? Or... There's also a gin here that... Maybe I can use sand for something there. But after that, I guess we'll be going back to the mainland and see what we can find. Because I think we're going to be kind of going around now and exploring all the left sides of stuff. Okay, let's do it. This won't take too long. Just have to try things out. I mean, pretty much. That's how this game has worked so far.
Is this the place I'm thinking of? There is sand here. It would make sense because I can go under the pots then. We can talk to the cow! Moo. Where's your veal? I've been feeling so low lately, I long to feel the utter joy of something. I just don't know what. That's sad. much of anything. <laughs> huh. I was really kind of hoping that would do something. Okay, DT, thanks for getting me ice cream. I really appreciate it. You're a great friend who would do that for me. Guys, if he doesn't bring ice cream back to me, I'm going to be very disappointed. Something with the turtle needing a friend. Oh, there is sand here. There's a cow you can hang out with. Slim, you just can't force a cow and a turtle to be friends. Oh, but if I could, though. <laughs> I mean, there's, you know, still something there, probably. Oh, well, I mean, at least you were honest, Kamoro. I appreciate that. I just thought of something stupid I could try on the world map. try though. <laughs> Felix, I can't drink that much. <laughs> Piers was Oh, hold on. Maybe I can do this. Okay. I think that's exactly what it wants me to do. Holy crap. Thank you. 
Hello. Okay, well, we found something else to do. Interesting. Son of a... <laughs> this looks familiar. Secret tunnel, secret tunnel, secret tunnel. Well, I don't know if you were around, DT, when you left. Because I said... Thanks, DT, for bringing me ice cream. <laughs> so I think he was covering his tracks. So that he meant that it was for him and not for me. Oh, you could hear? Okay. Oh, Moose Tracks. So hey, Mega. Secret tunnel through the mountain. Mega, I beat the snake. I beat the drunk snake. And I feel better, so much better for it. take me back up there, but I don't think I want to do that yet. That'll be a nice shortcut to get back there, but we want the, we want the gin, don't we? No, I do anyway. Hello. Hey, buddy. Aw, he didn't even want to fight. He's just like, hey, I'll, let me join you. Okay, we found the Jupiter Jin Haze. I know it's Haze, but Haze. So I think one thing I should kind of get in the habit of doing is because now that we have, like... Let me see something. It'll still increase our stats, though. But, um... I should get in the habit of... Since I, you only need four to summon the max gin Or the max summon. I feel like some of these I should honestly leave on standby. Obviously, like, again, I won't get any, like, stat increasements, but... At the very least, they'll be dis they'll be standby. So when I do get into like an encounter, I can like immediately use the summons. Haze Maze Cave, or Haze Maze Cave. Hide away to it. That's that's a good one to have though. That's definitely one way to play, and that's... Honestly, that might be the way I'll try to play from now on. <laughs> Haze Maze Cafe. That would actually be a cool name for a cafe place. Uh, Comifo, Focus, Will... Disable Waft, I guess. Were there encounters in here? I don't think so. <laughs> Liquid Mercury. <laughs> I love how that's just like what Mario jumps into. Like, just Liquid Mercury. <laughs> Can't forget the basement of all of That just doesn't sound safe. Hazy Maze Cave is not safe. <laughs> 
Not safe for humankind. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, it's been fun. I'm not stopping, I'm just setting up the next part of the adventure. Don't worry. I think we're gonna start heading back to the mainland, finally. Because, again, we can start going around here. It looks like once we get to this point, like, we've done explored everything, so... There's honestly not much left to explore. <laughs> Peach is... <laughs> Peach's castle is full of ocean violations. <laughs> And, like, you know, with all the cake she tries to make, like... The kitchen is probably, like, an even, like, not sa even worse not safe zone. That stove's gotta be running all the time. Like, can I actually not get on this island? Hey, Legato Gelato! I like that name, by the way. Gatto Gelato. Okay, yep. I hear she puts cleanser in. That is something you can put in the cake in Paper Mario. This is a great game. I'm enjoying it so far. It's been a fun ride. That is true, she does make the laws, I guess. I'm not saying that justifies it at all, but... It's definitely something being done. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, I wanted to put this back on. Another beach coming up here. And honestly, I should be trying to focus on getting like more encounters in like these areas. Cause who knows, I might run into a gym. not here. What overworld, Jen? How rude of the game. I mean, they did it in the first one. I'm surprised they even found, like, two of them in the first one. It seems like they're, like, in pretty, like, specific locations. This looks like this might lead to something a little more interesting. And look, we have this like giant forest here. I only found one of them. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I'm thinking of the very first one, which doesn't count. It's automatically given to you.
I found a town! I guess a quick question, if you, uh, unless you don't think this is like worth spoiling, DT. Like, do you just have to be like kind of in a specific area to find them, or is it a case where if you just walk on a certain space, they'll appear? Again, don't feel like you have to answer that if you don't think that's a good thing to ask. Or rather, whatever you want to know. I don't know. A part of me does want to know the answer, actually. Because <laughs> if it's just somewhere I can just like walk over it, like that'd be good to know. But then I'd just be probably going over the entire map at that point. So maybe not. That's that's fair. That's a, that's a, that's fine. That'll allow me to kind of figure out what exactly I want to do. Our master boatsman Yep died. Now all we have to remember him are the songs he wrote. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let. Sing with Yep and all the children of the village helped us remember those songs. It's funny how we all memorized every one of Yep's songs. I didn't even know him, and I already miss him. Sounds like a good dude. <laughs> There's a star on this one. You want to hear one of the songs Yep wrote? Yes. Here, let me show you. If you want to go to the stars, if you want to go to the stars, go north past the twins, passing two swirls, run diesel twice around the trunk. Haste without waste and head to the east, pass three to the north. There, run around thrice and wait for the waves. When they stop, run north and go to the stars. You race full of folly and take the wrong way, you'll find yourself a watery grave. Do you want to hear the second children's song? Okay, hold on. So you gotta... Twice, then thrice. I'm trying to think about this. notes down. First song, run around twice, then thrice. These are children's songs. <laughs> now that you mention it, talking about a watery grave is not really a good children's song now, is it? <laughs> if you want to go to the moon, if you want to go to the moon. Face west from the stars and run straight past three swirls, then circle round twice. Haste without waste and head to the south, then one swirl west. There, run around thrice and wait for the waves. When they stop, run south and go for the moon. Race full of folly and take the wrong way, you'll find yourself a watery grave. 
Okay, so now do you want to hear the thirds, children? Okay, hold on. I think I have to also write the number of paces or something, too. I'll do that in a little bit. It's, it's pretty much the same thing, it seems like. If you want to go to the sun, if you want to go to the sun, wear sunscreen. <laughs> Face south from the moon and run straight through two swirls, then circle around twice. Ace without waste, and head to the west, then six to the north. They run around thrice and wait for the waves, and they stop, run north, and go for the sun. Graceful folly and take the wrong way, you'll find yourself a watery grave. That's it, that's all the games we have for the songs. If you want to, to play some more, just give me a holler. I don't actually need to know, I think, the actual song. This is, seemed pretty straightforward. Like, two, run around twice, over here, run around thrice. Go to the moon. That simple. It's just I don't know if I'll need like these individual steps or anything. Lana Bean. How you doing, Lana? So two. Two north, twice, one east, three north, and then thrice. Tired, spent a good portion of the day going around Seattle to do some game shopping. Could be worth Oh, that sounds fun. How's your day been? Uh, my day's been alright. Just playing some good old games. Which you really couldn't ask for more. Okay, third song. Two south. Twice. One west, six north, thrice north. Okay, so I have the songs written down pretty much. But again, I don't, the watery grave thing does kind of scare me a little bit, I guess. But uh, I guess that'll just depend on wherever we're going next where that will be important. Yep, wrote all his children's songs while he was out here in his own private space. Running around in circles here while singing one of Jeff's songs is pretty tough. There's a game that goes along with the song, but it's tough. I want to play something else. You should try playing Golden Sun, The Lost Age for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, sent to Pink Girl Games in the U District and got a top loader NES, a Dreamcast, and a memory card for it, and some game. Ooh. That's a pretty decent haul you got there. Yalom doesn't get many visitors, hasn't for a long time. Love to know a little about what's going on in the outside world. If Yep were alive today, our village would be thriving. He brought us a lot of work. There used to be a lot of pearl d divers here in Yalom. I used to do some diving myself. Yep, they were all younger than me, but I still give them a good run for the money. Let's 
Sounds good. Yep, found this huge bed of pearls and sold them in another town. Then he brought all kinds of things we needed in the alum. <clears throat> yep, told me. The only thing he could teach me was how to sail and how to sing. These children's songs, right? Yep, was the one who taught me how to handle a boat. That was right before he died. He promised to teach me how to dive for pearls. Poor Yep, I really miss him. Aww. I guess everyone must have loved Yep. Yep, indeed. Even on these far off shores, people need the services and hope I bring. I am grateful merely to have the chance to bring them some small relief. I better go and check and talk to people in here. Tapo Swamp has dried up and now is inaccessible. What's worse, with no water, we can no longer get any more delicious Yalam Mountain Fish. Oh no, we need the Yum Yum Fish. <laughs> we need the Yum Yum Fish. Do you like children's songs? No! Yeah, you're totally right. I just hate this. <laughs> one of these days I'll write one and it'll be so much better than this. Yep, had three different songs to use to sing. Each song is about a different situation. You like... Well, I don't care for them myself. I mean, the lyrics make no sense. A stupid dance we have to do when we sing. supposed to be right in the middle of the rainy season, but I don't see any rain. It's been really dry the past few months. Even Taupo Swamp is dried up. Hazy Maze Swamp. Let's see. Our blacksmith Sunshine makes the kinds of items you can't find. Oh, maybe that's where we can forge stuff. You wouldn't know to look at him and talk to him, but he's an amazing worker. Sunshine has started complaining that he can't work lately. He blames it on the lack of rain. Oh, so he's blaming it on the rain, huh? When we lost Yep, all the Yalom practically fell to pieces. Hold on. I have to do something very, very important. Very, very important. Very important. Our blacksmith Sunshine is our only claim to fame now. He's the best in all the lands. Force. Right? I think so. Yep. I'm guessing Pound won't do it. You want me to make you a little something special? <laughs> now look at that. You want to get some raw materials for me, didn't you? Oh, you went to get me some raw materials for me, didn't you? Right when I saw those materials, I had to work. Which items needs my special attention? Okay, so this is where we can give rusty items, I guess. Uh, you want it to shine, don't you? Yes. A little elbow grease and it'll make something great. Can't wait to see what I'm going to wind up making with this. It's funny, but I never know what until I actually start working. It takes our sunshine a long time to finish the items he works on. Maybe he could just wait a little while before coming to pick it up. It's so weird, but something really inspired my father to work. He's beating with joy. I'll steal his oil drop or drip or whatever. Well, hey, I mean, we got something out of it. Or we will get something out of it, rather. Okay, this is the item shop. What 
weapons. Claymore. That's not good. None of these are really that good. And we, we bought a lot of, like, really good artifacts, and we found a lot of good artifacts, too. Yeah, pretty much, if there's going to be something better than... It's got to be better than 10,300 at this point. This will check armor, though. Oh no, not the jerkin! This doesn't do enough. Like, this increases defense a little bit, but... I want to see what the Adept's Close does again. Boost PP, which... I kind of like her having, so... I don't have to worry about it. Full Metal Vest. Selling. Okay. Okay. Well, I think we got enough here for now. get down there. There's apparently a cave. I'm guessing move won't work. Nope. Okay. So I think I looked at everything. Now we have this great big area to explore. Oh, this is actually the area we couldn't get to. What's the joke I'm going through? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. The song. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's gotta be something here. Like, come on, why why is it like this? Like, why is there just a hidden thing here? There's gotta be something here. Oh, just a fighter. Or numb man. 
Fighter Fly is like Mario Bros. the arcade. The arcade game, Mario Bros. Do they? I guess we'll see. That's a wolf, though. Could also be something here. Wait. Oh, I got scared. I got. I was going to get stuck. <laughs> that could have been bad. say this is nature, but why is it like this? <laughs> There's gotta be something hidden. Alec Baldwin the Goblin. Alec Baldwin is the Goblin. <laughs> oh, yeah, those are boxing gloves. Definitely boxing gloves. <laughs> so just Alec Baldwin. <laughs> wow. Savage. Fair, but savage. <laughs> Alec Baldwin is the goblin. <laughs> just, just that voiceover. <clears throat> okay. Alec, Alec Baldwin is... Alec Baldwin. I didn't see those were like immovable things there. Man, this this game does not want Shiba to have the Tamer's whip on. Not at all. about Alec Baldwin. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, hold on. Scoop. T. 
Tear stone. Is that a second one? So I can walk in the swamp. Let's use sand! Don't worry, guys. I figured out the puzzle. <laughs> Drink the swamp. <laughs> you just get a text box that says that Piers has keeled over. <laughs> Drink the swamp. <laughs> Use the bubbles. <sighs> Man, guys. Wow. Okay, maybe I'm running too soon on that one. Okay, I did not even go that far that time. Oh, come on! I'm, like, right next to it. Oh, maybe... well... Okay, I see what it wants me to go to now, maybe. Maybe just that one over here is just out of reach. Maybe I'm just not supposed to get over there. Cookie! I kind of feel like I want to give it to Felix, weirdly enough. I know Jenna has the least amount of PP, but... Felix is one of my healers. <clears throat> and Ragnarok. You know what? Yeah, I think I like that logic. I'm gonna go with Felix on this. I like the logic I was using there, because that'll give me more healing opportunities if I get into a tough spot. I'm 
go back over this way. Oh great, it's putting me all the way back over here now. Okay, so I don't think there's a way I can get like over in that side regardless, so... Okay, I'm gonna have to go all the way over this way first. Felix, I'm parched. <laughs> After you've made me drink that swamp. <laughs> no, I drink it again! <laughs> no! No, not growth. <laughs> oh, God. It's not the right one. I see, like, no reason to... I I can parch this now. Oh! Okay, I didn't see that other thing. Okay, hold on. We have to give my characters a little credit. I mean, one of them just drank a whole swamp. <laughs> So <laughs> they can't they can't really think right now.
that's kind of annoying. I made it. That's annoying. <sighs> now I can't go, I can't do this. Oh well. Let's jump down here then. Because reasons. Oh hey, we can do this. Push. Push, push, push. Another path I can go. Yeah, this is where I was. So, I want to go back this way. This is just a shortcut back to this section, which... Gotta admit, I do like the dungeons make these shortcuts to make them a little less annoying. It is appreciated. I'm guessing I have to go back to the first section now since there's nothing I can do on that side. And again, this might just force me back to that other path that I was on. Yeah, I need Lash to get... Okay, yeah. So I do need to go back this way. Check the other cave. Uh, I might actually uh, use that time once I get back outside to take a very quick bathroom break and all that other stuff, because it's been about three hours. Normally for these, like, six-hour long streams, I try to use, like, a three-hour break. Or... A small break in between the three hours. That'd be a very long time to wait for the rest of this session. Three more hours. Save. I'm gonna make my little message here. Be right back. And uh, I'll be right back, guys. Uh, gonna use the bathroom, all that stuff. Get some more water. And then we'll continue with more of this. So, as usual, there'll be a small ad break. 
And I'll be back in about five, ten minutes at the absolute most. Shouldn't be that long, though. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back.